Good afternoon. The first item of business is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Ben Kane, an inspirational young man who will share his experiences with us. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, I've been invited here today to share the work we've been carrying out in Inver Clyde surrounding childhood bereavement. UK figures show one in 29 children was a parent or sibling prior to the age of 18. That equates to at least one child in every classroom in Scotland. Through my own experience as a young person who had suffered the loss of a close loved one, the need for greater support and understanding within the school environment was glaringly obvious. Whilst in the immediate aftermath, aftermath of events, everyone was full of kind words and condolences, it soon became very clear that the long-term impact of such an event was very much misunderstood by all. The isolation I felt led to, led to a realisation of how others might be feeling. As a result, I spoke to fellow pupils who had suffered a loss and asked how they would have felt if better support was in place. The response was resounding. This encouraged myself and Mrs Elaine Tate to set up the first pupil-led bereavement support group in Scotland. Through the use of group discussion, activities and one-to-one -one support, Clyde U Academy has become a bereavement safe space for young people. In doing so, we have supported the creation of a more comfortable and understanding culture within the school environment for bereaved young people. Alongside our support group, Clyde View Academy was also the first, group, the first school sorry, to mark Children's Grief Awareness Week in 2022. After leaving school, I began a new chapter as an activist rather than a school pupil. In 2023, our campaign grabbed national headlines following success in the National Rotary Awards. In the last year, we have accomplished a variety of once unthinkable goals. From the development of lesson plans with Inverclay Council, to uniting our discussions as part of the Inverclay Bereavement Network, and the marking of Children's Grief Awareness Week in this very chamber. The story of Clayview Bereavement Support is not one that bears my own name, nor that of Clayview Academy. This group and this campaign has been centred around the coming together of our community, a sense of willingness to support our own. I'll be forever indebted to local organisations such as Mind Music, Child and Family Therapies and Argonne Hospice for equipping me to take this campaign from a small coastal town to national frontiers. The work of Stuart McMillan and his staff has also been pivotal to sharing our message across the nation. Our campaign has risen from the humble beginnings of a pupil support classroom to the heights of working with the Scottish Government and BBC Scotland's The Nine. This campaign may have started as a local push for change, but with the support of national organisations such as Child Bereavement UK, we have been afforded the opportunity to share our vision across Scotland. My remarks today have tried to summarise our journey from the greatest pain a person can feel to a place of hope and a desire for better. That desire and that want for better is something I will carry with me throughout my life and hopefully inspire others to ensure no child grieves alone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ben.